Alrighty everyone, my name is Mikhail and welcome back to Starfield. Last session, we went ahead and continued our journey through the Crimson Fleet questline. Uh, we went to the Siren of the Stars and got ourselves uh, some information, uh, some Galbank credentials, which is pretty cool. And we also got to learn about where the legacy is. And this session, we're going to be going ahead and trying to get like an item in order to actually get to the planet that the legacy is at. So interested and see how we get with that so i um, hope you guys will enjoy it if you missed the previous episodes done for the series uh check it out my playlist on my youtube channel if you haven't already i can see subscribe to the channel stay to play on games such as this and any games at the moment all right let's go ahead and go back to the key pretty sure i can just fast travel from here yep straight to cricks let's stow our stuff fast and get out of here I'm anxious to see the stock. All right, let's board. Make sure we have to meet with neighbor. She's got some information on what we can do. All right, oh. Jazz. What do you got? According to the latest, the comms oh, yeah, the spike comms is being spike. developed at UC Star Station SY920. Location undisclosed. Fantastic. So how do we disclose it? We could lean on your smuggling contact. Call in that favor. You know who I mean. Our friend on Jim's. Nice one, Jazz. I'll make the arrangements. All right, Rook. Next stop, New Atlantis. Oh. Your connection is Juan Dayu. She's got most of the premium UC smuggling routes locked down tight. If you don't piss her off, she should be able to sneak you past SY920's security. Just should be good. remember to count your fingers after you shake hands with her. Hmm, sounds like a situation that calls for a fist bump. Unless she wants my knuckles, too. <laughs> sounds like she'll be useful. I sure hope so. But she might be our only crack at finding a decent decryption device. Once Juan gets you past the guard dogs, it's going to be on you to locate the comm spike. Mm, indeed. According to the data we have, it's in the prototype phase, meaning there should only be a single device aboard the station. Basically, you break it, you bought it. Bring it back in one piece. You'd better. For your sake. Oh. And one more thing. SY920 is a UC military installation. That means it's guarded by heavily armed troops. And we both know those idiots don't mess around. If you intend to turn the place into a shooting gallery, you might want to be sure you're hauling an arsenal. Because you're gonna need it. Understood. Perfect. That's what I like to hear. Okay, so I'm gonna arrange a meeting with Juan at Kay's place in the well. In the meantime, I'll make sure Jazz comes up with a solution to the electromagnetic atmosphere problem at Bannock 4. Oh, okay, you'll make sure. More like get drunk while Jazz does all the hard work. Typical. Privileges of rank, my darling. We'll discuss it a little later. <laughs> and you, get the hell out of here. And don't come back without that calm spike in your cargo bay. Good luck. Good luck. Adio. You can do that. Why is there a weather warning? <laughs> I'm inside. <laughs> Um, 
think it's residential districts. It's in the well, he said, so it's like the underground bit. I haven't been down there in like so long. Holy. When a settlement looks so peaceful and secure, it starts to become a target. I guess that's why New oh. Atlantis and even Sidonia. Never mind, the game's gonna tell me to go somewhere else now. Spaceport. Time to go to the well. Looks like this person's upstairs, so... Hello. How, how does everyone's welcome? How does one get get up the stairs? Oh, here we go. Oh. This is interesting. something here though notepad um, in the, the bathroom nothing in the bathroom not at the moment In the kitchen. Okay, that's fine. Not sure if those Varun zealous live in space or got separated from the land or what. Hang on, let me make a save first. I take it your neighbor's new recruit? Yes. And you must be, oh, yeah, and you must be the smuggler. Careful, the walls have ears. Yes, sorry. That's why 920 is one of my regular stops. So I already have the necessary approvals. Neva says you're after a piece of UC tech. So to get it, we're going to need to get you on board. I can do that, but I have conditions. Uh, let's hear him. If I can be candid, for this job to work, we'll have to do this my way. We take my ship, and you're a member of my crew. But make no mistake, once you board, the risk is entirely yours. This route is highly lucrative, and sacrificing it is not an option. <laughs> yeah, we could use Barrett to say this. <laughs> Sounds like just another day in the office. We really should upgrade our safety standards. Being able to adapt under pressure should serve you well. In any case, when you're ready, meet me at my ship. It's the Jade Swan. And make sure you're prepared for the long haul. Once you're on board SY920, you can't come and go as you please. We'll talk more on the ship. Okay. Freaking easy. Yeah, 
to check back here again. What's happening here? Oh. I think I missed this. I, I, I probably didn't look at this, this table here. I knew there would be something here. She looks like she would probably be around. Alright. Bonds. Bonds talk. So, when did you stop flying the Swan anyway? When the cargo became more valuable than the ship. True. The fleet's got us real busy these days, and we are making good money smuggling all this contraband. But if any time was the right time for a break. Hey, there's still work to do. I need to check with my contacts at the spaceport and find out what guards are on rotation when we leave port. Then it's back to the key to make sure Delgado gets his cut and to make sure he hasn't cut us out. <sighs> I worry sometimes that being in New Atlantis, we're missing out on the big scores. I know that old dog has something big planned. I can feel it. Sheesh, that is a lot to think about. And here I thought the pirate life was carefree. Maybe for some people, but that's not how I work. Well, you feel free to plan our next moves from now to the new year. I'm all about living in the present and being where your feet are. That's fine. Just make sure to wipe those feet before boarding my ship. Huh. Interesting. There's more evidence for us. That's good. Um... It's probably going to be a stealth mission, ain't it? Probably is. <laughs> okay, so we're going to probably need to... Fortunately, get rid of Barrett for now. I want to hear one of my stories? Or do you have one to tell me? It's time we went our separate ways. Ha! Sure. You know where to find me if you miss my brilliant insights, though. Nice. Okay. Um. Am I able to actually change him? Status or skills? Where's that? Oh yeah, ship. Crew. I could probably have these people here. Yeah. Have Sam. He's currently on the ship, Lynn. Barrett. Put Sam on there. Sarah Morgan. And Andreja. That's three out of four for some reason. Um, where's the Jade Swan? Is it on this planet? Yeah, it is. Okay, so we'll need to go. Let's go to New Atlantis. I'm pretty sure that we'll probably be a ship in next to us. Yep. Yeah. Holy. Okay. That's a massive ship. We could probably just steal that <laughs> if, we, if we really wanted to. Look at it compared to the ship I have. Fucking hell. That thing is nuts.
That's a crazy looking ship. That's that's insane. Absolutely insane. Uh, trauma pack. We don't need that. Jade Swan. Let's head on inside. Pod. Hello. Nobody can stop the Crimson Fleet. Oh, and see about that. <laughs> Excuse me. I'll take the ship from here. Wow, look at this. Glad you're in the fleet. If you weren't, I would have killed you already. Yes. All right, a few things to note. When we get to the checkpoint, UC military will be hailing us. Let me do the talking. Return your piece of cargo if you have to. Should it be a problem? Of course, I don't expect it to be. Now, like I said before, once we take off, there's no turning back until this job is done. Okay. If you need to take care of anything before we leave, do it. If you want to ask me any other questions, go for it. Uh, I probably don't need any other questions. Ready, let's go. Hey. All right, then get comfortable. Hey, you. We leave for SY920 immediately. All crew prepare for takeoff. Finally Nothing awake. Power to engine and grab drive. All systems go. Oh, this is the pilot that one was talking to. We go. We'll graph jump the SY920 from here. Don't worry about your personal ship. The fleet will make sure it's secure. You can take this time to prepare. Just try not to bother my pilot while they're flying. Don't worry, Captain. I've spent half my life walking and chewing gum at the same time. I can handle a little banter. Sounds like you're putting in a request for double duty. Captain, I retract my earlier statement. For the record, I don't even like gum. <laughs> <laughs> Noted. Hmm. Just get us there safe. Roger that. Ships around. Oh. Grab jumping. You entered secure UC military space. Identify yourself or you will be considered hostile. This is Captain Juan Dayu. Cargo class ship ID UC 7938, requesting permission to dock. Identity confirmed. Prepare your ship for scanning. This ship is crash landing into the place. Looks like we're clear. We'll talk more once we're docked. Holy mackerel. Oh, here we go. Oh my god, we're turning around. <clears throat> okay, we're in. First things first. The station is enormous, with checkpoints everywhere. To get past them, you'll need a military uniform. And to get a uniform, you'll need to get to the barracks. There should be a way through the vents. You can get to them via the maintenance door downstairs. There's an intercom there as well, where we can make contact. Once you get a uniform, it should be fairly easy to find an elevator to the command bay. But, if at any point your cover's blown, I'm gone. Don't worry, they won't suspect a thing. I would hope not. But if they do, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Either way, for now, get on that station and find that intercom. We'll talk more then. Howdy. Okay. As long as the credits keep rolling in, life's good. There's a reason why I didn't bring Barrett along, because last time I tried to do a um, stealth mission with the Reunion Industries, it did not go well. Hello. Alright, we're gonna hit enter.
with the Jade Swan? Loading and unloading only. Stay clear of the military barracks. Cargo haulers are restricted to the cargo bay. That's good. Let's knock something over. I'm trying to get a. I don't know if I can go in here. Maybe I can. It doesn't lead anywhere. Probably want to do this mission without killing anyone. So I'm probably gonna to need to draw my best self around and uh, cargo holder. Um. Hold up. This area is for SY920 military only. Alright. Left it on my on the ship, I'll be right back. Yeah, you do that. Interesting that it put me back like that. Steal some ammo. I don't know if I can go upstairs. I would assume not. Might be able to go down. All this cargo hauling is making me hungry. I speak to Juan. Oh. Sorry if you wanted to go upstairs. Oh, down story, sorry. Okay. Advanced lock, eh? We have some digi picks, I do. So this one can go in like that. That one can't be used until the next one. Same with this one. Okay, so this one can be done like that exactly. That one can be used next, and that one can be used next. This one can be done like this as well, so that's a simple one. Then I think this is the only way to do this. And this one. Hoping it's like that. There we go. I'm currently trespassing at the moment. Unfortunately, our stealth skill isn't like good. Probably something that we should have leveled up, but that's okay. Oh, this is not good. Uh, I didn't check the lock on this one. So that's, <laughs> holy, okay. So this one can only be used in this one, so it probably be a good idea to use it here. Um, same with that, so yeah, that's an easy first one. This one, a bit weird. I think I have to just use this because it's yeah. And the last one. There we go. A little bit more. Oh, I can. I forgot. I can manipulate. I'm gonna make I'm gonna make a save before I do this. 
It worked. Okay, cool. Go over there. a problem. Um, it's a car. I don't think I can get through here, can I? Unfortunately, 30 seconds wasn't enough time. If he comes upstairs, I'm... that's not going to be good at all. Oh, he's just over there. I think I was only able to do it once. Only able to ma manipulate someone one time, I think. Turret up there. I know I'm here. Right, let's not go this way. Instead, we'll go up here. Save again. No one's in the bathrooms. Oh, some cred sticks sitting around. So it removes it if we're we've got the the outfit on at the um suit. Hello there. Station seems secure. That's good. Against ground crew pack. Okay, so now we need to need to enter the command bay, which was basically where we were back before. some useful information around but oh we can take those cred sticks now I'd assume because we've got the uniform one doesn't count as stealing I 
this. I think that's how it's going to work now. Amio, Deimos. Um. Take that ammo. I don't need it. Different personal profiles. Seems like it's people who work here. I assume we're probably going to be finding another evidence. Like, it'll be weird, but, like, I would assume we're going to find another evidence piece here. I guess we'll go ahead. Travel back down. Go into this room now. Make a quick save just in case. Yeah, here's the command bay. I'll go bay one. I've heard the technology in this station would make the FC surrender. Oh, that's a stealing. Bashing Bridger. Deals double damage while gun bashing. That's pretty cool. Oh, that's the explosive weapon, isn't it? Yeah, okay. That's a very interesting way to use a <laughs> an explosive weapon, like a grenade launcher. Okay. Unexpected. Okay, let's go ahead and travel to the command bay. Find an intercom to speak to Han. Eh, I don't think we need to. We'll find our own way around. A gun? It is. It's a gun sitting around. Find information on the comm spike. If you aren't assigned to this level, Ensign, you need to leave. I don't know you, Ensign. If you, you don't sure belong you here, clearance? you need to get back to your post, Ensign. I won't ask again. Oh, God. This is Captain Juan Dayu. Made it to the command bay. Good. And no alarms or warnings on the comms. Music to my ears. If you found a uniform, be sure to put it on. That'll provide some cover. Don't know what you're after, but I'm guessing there'll be another checkpoint. This far down, you might need a clearance code. Um, I don't need access if I, if I use the fence and station we architecture. We are of the same mind. No talking, no combat. This station has a lot of old arteries. The blood has gone dry, but they still connect to its heart. Look for a maintenance area that should open a path to the archival computers. Going dark for now. We'll talk again once you've located your target. Okay. Be 
I could have found this on my own. Okay. Credits. Alright, I'm gonna make a save again. Commander, oh god, Commander, it's the command room, Commander is there, of course the Commander would be at the command room, command. Projects. UEC 85 to Valen. Let's just look at the comm spike. Great security clearance. Please report to Dr. Gabriel Vogel for further guidance. Project lead is Dr. Gabriel Vogel. All inquiries regarding the comp spike should be routed, routed through him. All other matters should be directed to Commander Atara or the highest ranking officer on, on station. Security and permissions. Rank security clearance on sign plus. Additional security requirements code clearance. Note level 4 clearance should only be accessed with Commander, Commander approval. The goal of Project UCE-86 comm spike is to create a highly sensitive receiver capable of picking up communication signals and decrypting them on the spot. Signal range would be star system wide at a minimum of 50 AU. The receiver would be strong enough to pick up traces of frequencies potentially weakened a distance, atmosphere or, or a gravitational field. Encryption software would be smart enough to both decrypt any signal within nanoseconds and propose any missing or corrupted data. Benefits. Distressed signals come easy to locate and intercept. UC security could detect hostile frequencies before they come a, fresh, come a threat. Hostile embedded messaging could be easily exposed. Communications across the system are greatly increased with fewer delays. I don't know if I should open that door. Um, yeah, I need to. Seems like it's my only way through, so... How are the tests for the comms by Dr. Vogel has put in a request for more personnel. Not to change the subject, but are we concerned about the potential leaks? No. Until you can provide more substantial proof, we'll simply monitor the situation in the car. For now, I've recommended to Dr. Vogel to contact me immediately.
Interesting. Not going anywhere without me. Sorry, but the situation calls for it. That being said, I can stay in orbit for a short while. I'll need to send word to Delgado anyway, if you don't get off that station. But it looks like you'll need to find your own way off the ship. Oh. That doesn't mean you're trapped. On a station this big, there are bound to be other vessels you can steal. As a member of the Crimson Fleet, I trust you can handle that. Uh, don't worry about me. I'm the best there is. I like the confidence. <laughs> Either way, you're going to get your chance to prove it. Good luck. If you make it out alive, next time you're at the Nova, I'll buy you a drink. Oh, nice. Should be. I don't know if I need to go downstairs, but. Oh, that's that's block picking. Okay, I'm gonna need to load the quick save. I thought that door was able to op be opened. It wasn't. Go again. Open that door. It does lead me into number two, room number two, but I think we'll be able to very easily. Okay, I'm gonna make a quick save here. I've heard the team look oh, all these people. Yes, if you have experience flying, Transponder data in the Hoffa system might be promising. Oh, Eubanks and Woods evidence. Can you talk to the commander? Get me reinstated. Natara's doing you a favor, Marcin. Would you prefer to court martial? Dishonorable discharge? Because all of that was on the table. I would have preferred things to remain as they were, so I made a mistake. But my work on the comm spike was and is irrelevant. Dr. Vogel will do just fine without you. Besides, we both know the only reason you were on that project was to bloat the budget so we could embezzle the creds. Whoa. And to that end, your share of the funds should be transferred to your gal bank account shortly. What am I supposed to even say to that? Those funds are the reason I don't have a job. You can start by saying thank you. Hell, I even warned you not to poke the bear. Uh, Commander Natara being the uh, Ursi predator in this analogy. <sighs> Aaron was right. I should have never hit Zend. <laughs> yeah, you screwed up. Royally. But... You can protect Dr. Gong and all the King's subjects by keeping your mouth shut from now on. Yeah. Hey, you want my advice? 
Not some planet at the edge of the galaxy where you can relax for a bit. Lean back. <laughs> really dig your feet in the sand. Just get your mind off all of this. Oh, and stop with the sad puppy dog face, too. <laughs> Makes you look guilty. And what kind of face am I supposed to have? The face of someone who got away with it. Huh. Wait, who are you? Why are you in here? Did you not see the sign? Um, I'm doing a routine check on the comm spike. I need to access the device. Don't you mean access to the ship? Because the comm spike isn't a device, it's a module. It's attached to a prototype in one of our docking ports. Oh. We're still in the testing phase, running decryptions across a variety of signal types. But the results so far have been very promising. It can even interpolate signal data lost in the retrieval. It really is a wondrous technology. Encryption on that level has vast military applications. No wonder the UC is in interested in it. Yes, it's not quite cracking the Enigma code, but it will give us a significant tactical advantage. We'll be able to infer everything from battle plans to meal consumption. Not that we'd care about that sort of thing, uh, outside of the effects of diet on combat readiness. And yes, there are certain kinks to be worked out, missing parts in the occasional traumatic injury here and there, but it's all part of the adventure. Sounds like it's not entirely ready. Oh, it's ready. We're long past the inference stage. Statistical models can only go so far. Oh. And now that we've corrected the prior mishaps, it's time for real flesh and blood pilots to stress test the systems. The kind unafraid to make the necessary sacrifices. In short, I've requested a full squadron of these brave and fearless Marines to be transferred to the station. They'll give the prototype a final run, and provided there are minimal casualties, we can present our findings to Mast. Oh, we could betray Juan. I'm one of those new test pilots, actually. Splendid. That was fast. I thought I put in the request this morning. Normally my requests aren't given this much attention, let alone haste. It seems a tad suspicious. I see. And that worked. It would have been nice if they kept me in the loop. I am the project lead, after all. We Fuck, don't. That didn't work. But if an unqualified pilot were to run a test, we could have even bigger problems down the line. Fuck. I don't know if that constitutes proof. I'm sorry, but I don't believe you. Now, if you don't have any further business, I have a sign I need to commission. All right. <laughs> okay. Um. Wait, let me load that save again. <laughs> Almost had it.
what she doesn't know won't kill her. Wait, who are... Don't you mean act? It's attached to a... We're still in the testing... It can even... Yes, it's... We'll be able to... Not that... And yes... Oh, it's ready. And now... The kind on a... In short, they all give... Splendid. Normally my request on... I see... Yeah, that's what works. Not necessarily. Our guards run long shifts. I can just have to... You're okay, right. that worked. We do need to hurry if we're going to have this module ready in time. All right, you've convinced me. You're the new test pilot. You'll need a uniform and a terminal password to authorize a flight and get past Natara's cumbersome checkpoints. The uniform you can get in the locker room area, the password you get from me. You'll find the prototype ship at docking bay 8. Use the password to access the flight terminals in the control center. And of course, best of luck. You are doing science a great service by undertaking this sacrifice. <laughs> there we go, space suit is equipped. You'll find the prototype ship at docking bay 8. Use the password to access the flight in, bay eight. in the control center. Okay. That's good. Ah, oh, this is unlocked elsewhere. Yep. Reporting for duty, pilot. I'm expected. Dr. Vogel gave the approval. Another test flight, huh? Yep. Yeah. You pilots are braver than me. You're clear to pass. Don't forget to schedule the flight in the control center. Okay. Right. Do just that. Uh, yes. how, do, how does one get up there? Probably through here. Spike. I've heard the technology in the station would make the FC surrender before we can even start. There's been rumors of soldiers smuggling personal. Okay, we're in. Prototype ship. Got the comm spike. Let's go. Downstairs area. Go. Prototype ship, you are cleared for takeoff. We'll begin the test on your departure. Recording test flight data. Please adhere to the scheduled flight plan and let us know if you have any issues. Oh, 
Alright, we're ready. It's time. Send us away. Oh, do I have to explore? Oh, where the hell is this? I have to like fast travel to wool first. Hey. I picked up something that might be interesting. There goes. Our daring voyage in the oceans of space brings us here. Oh, Jesus Christ. That sun's about to explode. Ecliptic satellite. The den. Iberia ruins. We've been there before? I don't know. Trouble there. Here we go. I wonder how they felt nice when. Jump. Right on target. I wonder how they felt when I just did that. Alright, let's stock it. Beautiful. <laughs> That's you bored. Smush the paint. <laughs> Didn't damage it at all. Well, well, well. Welcome back, Rook. Looks like you got a new toy for me. Go on in and give everyone the lowdown. We'll take care of things from here. Yep, we'll do. The previous ship's being brought back to the dock. Are you looking to start something? Because I'll finish it. Actually, very interesting that it is a ship. I wonder how that's going to be used in order to find legacy. Yes, we'll see though. I can probably take off this uniform now. And put on all right, like this uniform, or something. There we go. Right, anyway, I can save. Nice to know Neva was right about you. It's good to have a promising rookie with the fleet. We don't have done it without you. I won't deny I helped. Let's hope the compensation reflects that, huh? Anyway, I believe I owe you a drink. It's the last time I'm paying, of course. Because nice. if Dalgado's right about Crix's legacy, you've earned more than your fair share already with that comm spike.
Rix's legacy is as good as ours. Sounds like you're on board as a true believer. I have to admit, the way things are going, I'm starting to believe myself. Anyway, I've kept you long enough. Now that you've had your drink and my debt is paid, it's time for you to give Delgado the good news. Hmm. Indeed. Yeah, yeah. Don't challenge Claude to five feet of filet. Here's something moving around. I don't know what it is exactly, but it's something. Let's head into the lift. Save again. Jasmine tells me that you not only brought us the comp spike, but an entire prototype UC ship. I'm impressed, Rook. Very impressed. Uh, the comp spike was built into the ship, so I don't really have a choice. Should have taken the compliment, Rook. Dale doesn't give those out often. Juan gave us the full rundown of your little smash and grab operation. She gave you some really high praise. Said you were a pro. And from what I hear, receiving praise from Juan Dayu is quite an accomplishment. All in all, a job well done. Date. Now, on to the business at hand. Jasmine, are you there? Yep, I'm here, boss. What's up? How's it going? I already have two of my crew tearing the ship apart from one end to the other. Comm spike shouldn't be too tough to extract. I'm looking forward to seeing what those UC techs have been up to. Keep me posted. All right. That leaves our electromagnetic atmosphere problem. And I think we've discovered a solution. There's a corporation in the city of Neon called Jennerdyne. They're responsible for the massive conduction grid that powers the city. We get our hands on their electrical absorption tech, and Jasmine swears she can tame it to handle Bannock 4. I have faith that Jazz can get, get, that tech, get that tech to work. You're damn right she can. My girl can piece together a jump engine with her eyes shut. Literally, I've seen her do it. Lost good money on that bet. All right, let's not get carried away, neighbor. Now, why don't you give us the info on our Neon contact? You get to meet up with the lovely Estelle Vincent. She's had her deft little fingers on the pulse of Neon for some time now. Whatever info you need, I guarantee she can get. Estelle is one of the most reliable captains we have in the fleet. If I want something done, there's none of the typical bullshit. It gets done, and afterward, we all split the cash. I'm sure we'll get along just fine. No, no, no. There is no getting along here. You are going to do everything she asks. Follow her instructions to the letter. Yeah, she is valuable enough. to the fleet. You piss her off and we lose her as a contact, you're going to be answering to me. Estelle will be waiting at Madame Savage's place. I'd say don't keep her waiting, but chances are she won't mind. Girl loves her liquor. And keep your eyes on the price. Neon's one big distraction for people like us, so I want you focused. We are one step away from Quix's legacy, and we cannot afford any screw-ups. A sphere. Alright, now let's go back to UC Vigilance. Tell them about what we just did. Whoops, didn't mean to accidentally. Let's jump over there now. Hey, you might want this. 
Holy mackerel. Nice clean dock there. Thank you. What Commander Okando is going to say about this? It'll be very interesting to see where this is going to go. Most of our so just stole like one of their prototype things. Oh, there. You have permission to speak freely. It seems you had quite the eventful mission on your hands. You still have the Crimson Fleet's trust, and you were able to spare lives in the process. Infiltrating the station without getting caught was quite tricky. But you did so with an abundance of stealth and restraint. That's exactly what we're looking for in a CISDEV operative. Excuse me, sir. I hate to interrupt, but there's still the matter of the comm spike to discuss. Yes, of course, Lieutenant. Time is short and we should get to the matter at hand. Please give me your report. Uh, Delgado, Delgado has just been Durand working on the comm spike. Then it's just a matter of time before she reverse engineers it to fit the fleet's purposes. So what does Delgado have you doing next? Has he solved the Bannock 4 problem? He believes Gerardine's construction grid in Neon is the key. The conduction grid? That's brilliant. But is it actually possible? It's 80-year-old tech. Sorry, sir. The conduction grid is how Neon generates its power. It essentially absorbs lightning strikes and converts it to usable energy. It would take a hell of an engineer to modify the technology to handle Bannock 4's EM field. An engineer. Like Jasmine Durand. That's the case. Inform our contacts on Neon that our operative will be touching down there in the near future. Absolutely, sir. And before you depart, I wanted you to know that your efforts are helping us gain interest among my superiors. They're finally beginning to believe that we can take down the Crimson Fleet and make amends for the UC's embarrassing mistake. Aren't you concerned that the fleet is getting close to Crix's legacy? Of course I am, but it's a calculated risk. Stand. What embarrassing mistake. The fact that our common enemy owes its existence to the United Colonies, of course. It was the riot at the lock touched off by Jasper Creeks that inspired him to create the Crimson Fleet in the first place. Thanks to your assistance, we'll be able to rectify that mistake, and MAST will authorize an all-out assault. Please, they're finally taking you seriously. It's long overdue. All right. I suppose that's all for now. Yeah. I'll be looking forward to your next report. Good luck. And please, be careful. Well. Nice. Right, now let's talk to Toft. It's good to have you back. What can I do for you? Got some evidence for you. Good. The more Two you pieces. find, the stronger our case. The yeah, evidence about Juan Dayu should put her away for a long time. Finally. We've been tracking the Jade Swan for almost a year, but Captain Dayu somehow remained one step ahead. Every time we've scanned that ship, it's come up empty. Well, she's not going to skate away this time. Nice work. Find anything else? Yes, I have. Uh, this recording about the comm spike shows that the UC's got some internal issues going on. Cost overruns? Siphoning project funds? How deep does this well go? Our forensic accounting team is going to have their hands full. I'll send this to Mast right away. Let's just hope that a few rotten apples within the UC haven't spoiled the entire bunch. 
Have any more? Ah, uh, that's all I have for now. Understood. Keep searching and you're bound to find more. I'll be here if you have any more questions. Here we go. Do you have anything to report? No, I don't. Word is you had to steal classified tech from the station. Help the commander. Alright, well, that's gonna do it for me. Uh for this session of Starfield. I think next session we'll go ahead and travel to Neon and go and get ourselves a um what was it called again? <laughs> oh the conduction grid. Yeah, we'll go ahead and get that conduction grid. However hard that's going to be, I would assume I might need require some more stealth involved, or maybe she'll just, that lady that we need to talk to is just going to give it to us on a silver platter, so I guess we'll see. Uh, so anyway, that's going to do it for me. Thank you everyone so much for watching this. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you missed the previous episodes done for the series, check it out by playlist on the right side of the screen. On the left side of the screen, I playlist other games I've been past currently playing at the moment, so if you're interested in seeing those, check them out as well. And in the middle, you can go and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on games such as this and any of the games playing at the moment. Cool. Thanks everyone so much for watching this. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, see you guys next time.